that's not bad. And again, because you've got control, if we don't want it to go right down to zero in the middle, we can make a little Batman. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rename this and save my preset as Batman. It's called Flux Mini, and it's by our friends at Kalem Audio. Yes, those Kalem Audio, the tape cassette Kalem Audio. They're very cool people, and they make very cool plugins. Look at this. You know you're in for some fun when you see this sort of stuff. You're like, ooh, I can move things. We've got some uh, attack and release, and uh, we can actually play around with this. So what does this do? Well, it's kind of hard to explain. It's easier to hear it than it is to explain it, but it's pretty darn cool. So uh, by default, as you can see, we're in our presets here. We can hit the button here. We're in our factory preset default. Let's take a listen to what this has done to this sound. So what have we got? Well, we've got this sync knob here at an eighth note. So you can hear that. Da, 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 da. It's syncing to the eighth note. We've got some other options in here. It's, at the moment, it's mixed in 100%. We've got low pass and high pass that we can play around with here. And we've got a resonance knob here that we can tweak and twiddle once we have that one on. So I haven't spent enough time here to give a full explanation. I just wanted to tell you about it in case you weren't aware, because I wasn't. And uh, it's actually cool. And the more electronic type music I'm producing, uh, the more I'll need something like this. So let's play around with some of the options here. So as if we play it again, let's turn the resonance up, and we get this kind of as action, which is kind of cool. And I love the visualization. You can turn it off, but why would you? Because you can actually see exactly what's going on there. And the beauty part is you've got complete control over this. So if we want to actually adjust where this sound cuts in and out, right, we can actually change it. So a lot of a lot of things to play around with in here and some cool stuff. Let's try it on another instrument here, shall we? So that's on our uh, our lead instrument. Let's stick it on uh, on our drums. So we've got a drum beat here that we've made in the beat sequencer. Sounds like this. Cool, yeah. All right. So let's come into this one again. We go to edit. We go to plus, and we add audio unit extensions. We come on down to the Flux Mini. Now, what's it going to do out of the box? It's going to do this. Right? Okay, but probably not what we want for our drum. Probably a bit too intense for our drum. So let's try some of our presets. To use our presets, we tap the little drop down, we go factory, and we got all of these. Sound like Uncle Arthur there. Oh, look at all of these. So we've got a whole bunch of here. So let's just try a few of these funky goat horns. You know, that's the first thing I have to try. <laughs> so named for its goat horn shape. Let's uh, play this one. Right? That's not bad. And again, because you've got control, if we don't want it to go right down to zero in the middle, we can make a little Batman. I'm going to I'm gonna rename this and save my preset as Batman. Right? And we can use that resonance again here if we want to. Pretty fun, yeah? Uh, so yeah, I like, I like my funky goat horns or my, my new Batman one. If we bring this back in our mix, by the way, just so you can hear what it's going to sound like. Again, it's just adding something a little bit different there. Let's, uh, let's try another preset because uh, it's just, it's fun. You, you'll lose a day. I've already, I already lost most of the morning. Uh, let's dance. Oh, Hello. <laughs> Look at this pattern going on here, right? Oh, I quite like that. Right? And the cool thing about this is you can get a side chain without a side chain. Now, if you don't know about side chaining, it basically means you attach a track to another track. So you know that effect when your bass comes in, you... Other, other tracks may cut in and out based on when the bass is hitting. That's called side chaining. We can't do it in GarageBand. But with Flux Mini, you kind of can. In fact, there are some presets that are called uh, side chain. What are they called? Fake side chain? Something like that. Uh, oh, I've pressed the wrong one. Factory. Uh, where is it? Fake chain. So we've got a fake side chaining. So what this is doing is it's assuming that your bass is coming in at the start of the hit there, and then it's side chaining based on that. So let's take a listen to this. So can you hear how you've got that side chain like effect? 
if we bring it back in with our bass, so, oh, this bass. You can hear how it's like making space for the bass at the start, because we know our bass is at the start, so it's making some space. And if instead of doing it on the quarter note sort of side chaining there, again, we've got our sync dial here, so we can actually change this to doing it on an eighth note. Get that pumping. Whoa, 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 whoa. Or you can do it right around to a, a whole bar or even up to four bars. So let's do it for a whole bar here. So it should just come in at the start of each bar. Oh, that was two bars. Let's do it to one bar. And again, because we've got this control over it, if we want it to come in a bit slower and uh, a little bit smoother, we can do something like this and we can get this sort of effect. Right, so there's, yeah, there's a heap of possibilities here. Let's, uh, do we have any other cool instruments? <laughs> Not really in this track. Uh, let's just bring it onto our hi-hats because this insane hi-hat pattern might actually benefit from this as well. We'll turn it up a little bit so we can hear it. And let's again, grab this one. <laughs> do, do, do. This could actually be fun with the Flux Mini. Let's try something insane. So what about, Something like laser shots. Oh, there you go. So this time around, you can see the resonance is up there. You've got an eighth note sync here. And uh, it's basically hitting the attack and then just falling away there. Yeah, that one's cool, but probably not what we want here. What about pancake rise? All right. That's cool. What if we sync this one back to a quarter note? That's kind of cool. Kind of creating a very different kind of groove there, isn't it? So yeah, we can bring this one again back into our mix and we get a diff very different sound with our beat. There you go. How cool is that? The Flux Mini from Kalem Audio. It does a whole bunch of cool stuff. It is worth playing with, and especially if you're creating electronic music, you're gonna find a lot of uses for it and have a lot of fun with that one.